Hello guys, so firstly we open ambigen and we begin with default smoke, default smoke simulation. So let's go to the primitive, reset it and let's put it in the middle of our simulation. Let disable force line, then let's go to emitter volume. So we don't need that temperature so we don't need to go with high so we can put it zero here also we need to smoke dissipate a bit faster so smoke dissipation we can put 100 here and we gain something that we want not so let's put one moment, let's put simulation. We don't need that big, so 100 on 100 on 100, for example. No, that a bit small, so let's put this. This is also a bit small I guess so let's put 200 on 200 on 200 so that's I think enough space for our simulation so we can put smoke dissipation a bit heavier something no we can't sorry for this guys so i think it's enough but noise a bit heavier so we can put in amplitude for example two so let's put our camera in perfect direction something like this maybe and let's put our simulation upscaling up to 2. So I think that's enough for now. So let's put, let's render it. So go to render and first frame need to be, I don't know, 100 and 50. Okay, let's export it. Mm -hmm. It's not perfect framing as you can see, but maybe it will be okay for us. So, yes, it will be okay for us. So let's go to the Unreal Engine. T underscore cloud. Let's put our texture here. And let's make our material. M cloud. Let's put our texture here and we need put RGB to base color and alpha to opacity. Let's put translucent material blend mode and it's as you can see it's a bit contrasty. We don't need that contrast. So what we can do? about it we can do make lerp and mean value put for example point three so now it's not that contrasting so next step we need bounding box based 0 to 1 
value and we need b value so it's equal z we can preview it so it makes that gradients that we need to our cloud so let's put power to have parameter of the contrast you i think you understand what it means so as for scalar parameter power of the gradient power of the gradient so if we go up it will be like this and if we go below to it will go like this so this is how it works multiply it by our by our color it will look like this for now but we need two colors so let's put lerp another lerp here top color it goes to into b and bottom bottom color it goes to a and a color will be darker and top color will be bright something like this i guess and we multiply it by by our color so it goes like this we can put it in emissive to have more capacity of the tone so our material is ready so let's make new particle system we start with fontaine and this cloud so we don't need any velocity we don't need any gravity force in shape location we can put box for example something like this it looks like a cloud we need big sprite size something like this in sprite render let's create a material instance and let's put material instance here so also we need to set sub uv so 8 by 8 and sort mode we can use view depths also in material we need particle color for control alpha in particle system in Niagara so that's our cloud something like this For example you can see clipping here we can improve our material so let's put depth fade here so depth fade is here also let's put for example minimum value of i don't know 0.4 let's go to our niagara system and let's make 
appeared slowly and disappeared slowly. Okay, now our cloud is pretty much ready, so we can put top color a bit heavier and power of gradient a bit heavier too. So something like this. And we can tweak uh, parameters now. For example, we can make this cloud not that visible. For example, point 0.3 in scale curve and spawn rate we can put more particles in initial particles we can put in uniform sprite size max something like this and i think our cloud is ready and now we only need to tweak parameters and make it as we can and want to see it. Also we need sub UV animations because now it's don't have it. Sub UV animation and in sprite render let's put a sprite render here. Lifetime let's put lifetime minimum 2 seconds and life maximum 3 seconds. And now we have animated cloud. So basically that's it. Let's tweak it and make it perfect. So thank you for watching it and have a good luck.